sir, was you scared? Scared? Well, there was really no time to be scared. With complete disregard for his own life, Sergeant Raymond Shaw engaged single-handedly an entire company of the enemy. Sergeant Shaw was awarded the Medal of Honor. I signed the recommendation myself. Yes, sir. Um, uh, were you wounded? I was. I was injured. Uh, concussion, lost focus. Sergeant uh, Shaw, he took command. Major? Yes. Did your unit sustain any casualties? Yes. PFC um, Edwin Ingram, PFC Robert Baker III were killed. Now, the Medal of Honor, Congressional Medal of Honor, is the highest award that any soldier could aspire to. What these brave men that I've talked about today did should never be forgotten. Since 1917, there have only been 970 medals awarded out of a total of 30 million Americans at arms. Who knows? Maybe one day one of you fine young men will earn that medal in defense of this great nation. Yes. Major Marco, on behalf of Troops 1094 and 1128, just want to thank you for coming to speak to us about the Medal of Honor and about your interesting experiences in the armed forces. Thanks for listening. Did you ever wish it had been you? I'm sorry, excuse me? Won no medal. I've been, been the hero. Well, sir, I'm just, I'm just proud that I was there. Thank you. Just a little stuff, sir. Cause I remember, okay, Shaw. Shaw okay. Shaw saving us, right? But that doesn't make sense. Because uh, that should have been you. Okay, if Shaw is in the harbor, the Toyota is here. Well, all right, just get up. Get up. Listen, it's it's that's over. That's that's done. You gotta move on. And what I was hoping is that, you know, maybe you need some money or something. Nah, no, no, sir. Yeah, wait, I don't need your money, man. All right, it's great to see.
Paper or plastic, sir? With public anxiety being rekindled by the events of Bloody Friday, with the war on terror continuing into yet another year, no end in sight, the worries just continue to grow. Polls indicate that more and more voters are concerned with personal family safety, with economic security, fearing more and more jobs going overseas or being taken by illegal immigrants. They're concerned with the quality of air and our water, the degradation caused by the rollback in environmental regulations, by religious and racial polarization, with the drumbeat of body bags coming from all over the globe. The American people are ready for a new agenda, but because this party is so divided on so many issues, the choice of a vice presidential nominee may very well be the unifying factor for delegates at this convention. And if this respect propels me toward the nomination as your vice presidential candidate, I will be greatly honored. We need to look inward, attend to our own house. The danger.